Hello. So one question that is asked a lot of times on the Martin forums and also on Facebook is how you can flash a playback using MPC tools. And I will show you in a very quick video that it's actually pretty simple, but it depends on what playback you are trying to flash. So for main playback buttons, I mean these playbacks that we have here on the banks, you know that for each of them you have one fader and then you have four buttons. And in MPC tools, we label these buttons as up, up for the topmost button, up, up, this is just up, this is down and this is down, down. Okay, and you can assign actions on these buttons. So you can say that I want to press this button or I want to release this button, for example. Right? So uh, going on MPC tools, I will show you how to do that using a keyboard hotkey, but it works exactly the same way for a MIDI button, for example. So to go to the keyboard hotkeys, you go here to preferences and you press edit button on the keyboard hotkeys options. Then you can either select the, the key here on the left or you just press it on your keyboard. It will follow. And for this demo, I will uh, record something on the key F16. And then you have for this key, basically two events. You have on button down, which is triggered when you press physically the button I mean the, the key, the F16 key, and then you have on button up, which happens whenever you let it go or unpress it. And then you have the same uh, while you're using a modifier shift key. So you can have four different actions for the same button. When you press the key, you have on button down, but if you are uh, pressing shift at the same time, then it's this event that, that follows. But let's just focus on the two uh, main ones, which are on button down and on button up. Okay, so this means that you can set different actions for when you press the physical key and when you release the physical key. And I will demonstrate how you can, for example, flash playback number nine here in this case. Um, you basically have to select the key that you want to use, the event, and on this case, flash is assigned to the last button or main playback button down, down. So we basically select the event, the function, which is main playback button down, down, and we know that we want to trigger playback number nine and hold it. We basically say, please press this button. Assign. Okay, so we assign this function to the on button down event. And then we do the same or a similar thing when we let go the physical button, then we need MPC to know that we don't want to hold that button anymore. So it's basically the same function, the same playback number, but the behavior is now release. And just for you to know, the click behavior, which is the, um, the default one, th what click does is it holds the button for a few milliseconds and then releases it. It works, for example, for go, for back, for select. So you basically have to set one event on button down. You just click this button. It, it works. For flash, of course, you want it, want it to, to hold while you are holding the physical button. So you definitely need to set events for button down and button up. Okay, I, I hope this was clear enough. And now I will close this window and try it. So I will press. On this example, I set uh, F16 key. I will now press the F16 key. And you can see that the LED has lit. It means that I'm still holding the F16 key. Now I will let the key go. And the, the LED was turned off. So this is basically working the same way as if I press the button and release the button using my mouse. This is okay for main playback buttons, but there's a trick that you need to do when you are using playback.
playback buttons. It works in a different way because with, ma with the main playback buttons, you are basically saying that you are mapping your key, your physical key, whether keyboard key or a MIDI button, to this button over here. And you can actually go to the properties of the cue list and set a different action. Okay, you set the action based on what you have selected on MPC. This is valid only for these playbacks, the main playbacks. Okay, this is not valid for playback buttons. In playback buttons, you set the action not in MPC but in MPC tools. So we need to do a trick. I will show you how you can flash, for example, playback button number nine, which is this one 101 random strobe. So you open MPC tools, you set a different key, for example, F17, and on button down. You want to trigger playback button action. You set the bank number, which is 1 in this case, playback number, which is 9 in this case, and then the action is go. You, you are actually selecting the action for the cue list that is recorded on the playback number 9. So you can set the cue list to go, you can set it back, to, back and pause, release the cue list, toggle the cue list, back only, etc. in the future, I guess for now you have only these five possibilities and none of these possibilities is flash unfortunately so the little trick that we have to do is activate the cue list on button down and on button up you release the cue list and as long as the cue list has its level set to 100 and you can set the default value using the cue list options window. When you press the button, you basically activate it, and you can see here the play button. And when you, you unpress the key, you release it. And this works exactly the same way as a flash. It's just this little trick, and it's different from main playback buttons. And that's it guys, there's no uh, really, no magic behind this, you just have to understand that you have two different events for each of your keys or each of your buttons and for flash you really need to set different actions for each of those events and then you have everything up and running. So I hope this, this helps and uh, hope to see you guys in the, in the next video, thank you.